Hello there, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to your September mid-month tarot love reading with me, Miss Machiste. Gemini, we are looking into your love life and what will be coming your way next in terms of love for the second half of September. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and do not forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are returning, Gemini, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. Stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac signs feelings for you for this second half of September. So Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs of what is going on in their love lives and what will be coming their way next in terms of love for my beautiful Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Gemini, hang out towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each Zodiac signs feelings for you. So here we go, Gemini. First card out is we have Manifest. Okay, the Magician. Gemini, this is your energy. We also have Moving On. This is the Eight of Cups, Water Energy. We have Shine. This is the Sun, Leo Energy. We also have Success and Growth. Oh, right, the Eight of Wands. Fire energy. We also have joy and stability, the Four of Wands. More fire energy. And we have love. Wow. Gemini, the lovers, your energy once again. Okay, Gemini, so I'm going to start off with single Geminis. Um, single Geminis. I feel as though you have been manifesting a soulmate. Um, this could be a soulmate you know. Some of you single Geminis could have been in a process of manifesting a new soulmate. Gemini, you know what you have been manifesting, so think of what you have been manifesting. Nonetheless, it definitely looks like something that you have very specifically have been working on creating for yourself in terms of love is taking form in your third dimensional reality here on earth. So it definitely looks like whatever energy you have been working with, whatever affirmations, whatever manifestations you've been working on, it has brought in a soulmate that either you know or a new one. Nonetheless, you are... I feel like getting into a relationship with this person. Maybe that is something that you have specifically manifested to be in a relationship. Um, but nonetheless, you're going to feel really good, feel really happy. There's conversations between the two of you. I mean, you have the Eight of Wands, so the Four of Wands, and the Lovers. So I definitely do feel like for a lot of you Geminis, this is somebody that you two are going to have an instant connection with or you did have an instant connection with this person and that's why they feel so drawn back towards your energy. So single Geminis, you know what you have been manifesting. With the lovers here, it could be new, it could be past, but nonetheless, they're here. They want you. They have a conversation for you. They have an energy of... It does look like wanting commitment, so we will clarify and see what else comes through this, but... For others of you Geminis, I do have a second story for Geminis who are in connection or um, in a relationship, whatever the case may be. I feel like one or both of you in this relationship was very focused on something that happened in the past here. So whether it was the past of this connection or the past of your or theirs love life, it definitely looks like you two are feeling so happy, so connected, and so stable with one another now that you two can really find it within you to detach from the emotions from the past, the trauma, and the feelings of not you know, maybe there was somebody was uncommittal here. Maybe somebody had a fear of a relationship. But it definitely looks like you are 
coming into a relationship with somebody either stronger, better, more stable, or you are connecting with a soulmate that you will be in a relationship with. So let's clarify this here, Gemini. So if you are connecting to somebody, I feel like one or both of you has been really in a position of, all right, let's move on from the past. Let's get over our past and let's be happy together. And I feel like that's happening. I feel like you both are kind of, you know what? I have love for you. I want this. You're my joy. You're my happiness. And I don't want to dwell in the nostalgic energy any longer. I want to be happy and I want to live in the moment. So let's see what's is it your clarifications here, Gemini, on this energy? I specifically feel like Gemini's manifestation is coming to life because you are pulled out in the beginning and at the end of this um, reading. For some of you gem cross watchers, you may feel as though you have been manifesting a Gemini. But let's see what your clarification is on this here. All right, so on the Magician, we have the Seven of Swords. On the Eight of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles. On the Sun, we have the Queen of Cups. On the Eight of Wands, we have the Ten of Swords. Wow, look at that. You two are really moving on from everything that no longer served this connection. Or you, you're you just ready for whoever this soulmate is. Some of you, this it could be a past person that you two had an ending with and now you two are magically reuniting. Um, Four of Wands here with the Ace of Cups. Ooh. And the Lovers with the Queen of Wands. Okay, okay. So, Gemini's in relationships. I'm going to hop to second story really quickly. Like I said, there was something very specific like that you two needed to move on from. Now with the Seven of Swords here on the Magician, um, there definitely could have been some sort of deceptive energy either on your end or on their end. And I feel like if you are in a relationship, that is specifically what needs to be let go of to have success here. And it definitely does look like it is moving forward and somebody is letting go of it. So with this Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords, it looks like you and this person are going to have a conversation of letting go of the deceptive energy, whether on yours or their end. Nonetheless, here with this Ace of Cups, there is love here. There is commitment. There is an energy of a renewal of emotions between the two of you and finding confidence again in this connection and moving towards a more stable relationship. So I definitely do feel like Gemini's um, in relationships with this person. There was some sort of something that happened in the past between the two of you. And it looks like you two are finally coming into moving away from that. So this could have been a little bit of dramatic struggle in this relationship for quite some time. Or not. I mean, it could have just lasted a week. Maybe it lasted a couple months. But nonetheless, I feel like Gemini's in relationships. This person loves you. This person feels confident with you. They think you are like the most attractive thing they've ever seen. You are beautiful. You are handsome, whatever the case may be. And they cannot let go of this connection. So despite whatever you may have done or they may have done, there is a renewal to this relationship. So let's jump back to first story here, Gemini's. Like I said, I feel the single energy. I did feel it. Now we have the Ace of Cups, which is spirit confirming for me that for some of you singles, this is absolutely a new person. And, or a renewal of somebody from your past. Like I said, we'll keep that on the first story. It could be a past person for some of you. Now with the Seven of Swords here, some of you Geminis either feared that your manifestations would never work or you were really kind of like, all right, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep manifesting, but nothing ha is happening for me. So I doubt anything is going to happen. And you are going to be pretty surprised here by the offer that your manifestation has brought you. So with this four of wands to the ace of cups, this is either a new lover who wants to couple up with you pretty quickly. They do feel a connection to you very fast. Or this is that past person who just never stopped feeling that energy with you. And with that Seven of Swords here, like I said, you can be a little bit positioned in that second story where there was deceptive lies energy or just an energy of being taken advantage of with this person if they are from the past. But I honestly feel like Gemini singles, think about it right now. What have I been manifesting? This is it. So... 
That's what I got here for you, Gemini. Honestly, I have Gemini and Leo energy. Everybody else is a minor arcana. I have water, I have fire. Um, I have the Ace of Cups, which would be water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But definitely a conversation between you and this person. Even if this is a new person, I almost feel like you're going to have a conversation with this new person and kind of say, you know what? I've been through enough in love. So are you over your past or are you just trying to have fun and then live your life and just do whatever? Because I need to make sure that I'm actually giving my energy to somebody that deserves it. And I feel like you're not messing around anymore if this is a new or even a past person. And even if this is your current person's energy, you're kind of just like, all right, we're either going to have love here, we're going to have intimacy, we're going to continuously get closer, we're going to continuously um, find ways to reunite our love, or I need to find my confidence elsewhere. I don't feel that. I feel like this is a chance again for this connection, but... That's what I have here, Gemini, for you, and uh, it looks like an offer is going to be making its way down to you, a very special offer that you have been manifesting. So, keep in mind for some of you Gemini cross-watchers, this could be totally backwards, you could have been manifesting a Gemini. So, let's get your oracle here, and then we will look into each zodiac sign's feelings for you, Geminis. Fear for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What is their oracle for the second half of September? And their love lives for my beautiful Geminis. All right, Gemini. So let's see what's coming in for you. We have new direction. Mm-hmm. Some of you definitely a new person. We also have divine timing. There's that manifestation. There's that energy of spirit saying that when the time is right, this new direction is going to present itself to this connection or to you specifically. And we have patience. Wow. Very synchronized with our reading. Let's clarify this again here for you, Geminis. Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have new direction with settling. Yeah, some of you felt like it was never going to happen for you. There's that energy of, yeah, I'll just continue to manifest. I doubt it'll happen though, but whatever. It's going to happen. Divine timing with received. And a lot of you have already gotten the sign that this was going to happen and you still didn't trust it. That is definitely the magician and the seven of swords there. A hundred percent. And patience with mute. So for some of you, absolutely. Um, if you are in a relationship with this person or if this is a past person, there could have been a disconnect between the two of you in communication. And for some of you, you know, you may have had to go mute on past people to manifest in this new person. So let's get each zodiac signs feelings here for you, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I feel like there was silence between you and this person no matter what story you are. So if you're single, there's just been like silence in your love life. But if you have been connecting or in separation, I, I get a sense of there was a... I don't know if somebody was giving the other person like the silent treatment or whatever the case may be. Or there was an actual disconnect. So let's see here, Spirit for Gemini, all the way from Aries to Pisces. I need each zodiac sign feelings for Gemini for the second half of September. All right, Gemini, Aries feelings for you are the Empress. So Aries feels like you two can have extreme abundance, extreme, extreme growth. And um, possibly some of you could be married to an Aries or on the road to commitment and or marriage. Next we have is Taurus feelings for you as the Ten of Cups. So Taurus feels very happy with you. They feel like you're their person. They feel like you bring them the most happiness. You may share a, ch a child with Taurus or a family with Taurus, but they definitely do feel like you are where they belong. Next up is 
Gemini's feelings for you, Gemini, as the Ace of Pentacles. So an offer of commitment or an offer of stability coming from a Gemini could be a new Gemini that offers you a date or wants to take you out. This is definitely a position of strengthening the bond you share with a fellow Gemini. So there are offers on the table. Cancer's feelings for you are the Wheel of Fortune. So Cancer does feel like this relationship is moving in a positive direction. For some of you, Cancer feels like you are their destiny. Next up is Leo's feelings for you as a Three of Pentacles. So Leo is very interested in working together with you, coming to compromisings, compromisings, okay, coming to compromises. Uh, don't kill me, Geminis. I know you guys are intellectually gramified. I'm sorry. Um, three of Pentacles. Leo wants to work together with you. If you and Leo have been kind of all over the place, not really feeling this connection or a bit disconnected, definitely could be that you and Leo come back together, find a way to be on the same page and make this connection work. Some of you, you may work or go to school with a Leo as well. Virgo's feelings for you are the Nine of Swords. So Virgo is stressing about this connection here between the two of you Gemini whether you have caused them stress or not they are having anxiety and having a bit of overthinking um, energy um, some sleepless nights here Virgo is absolutely feeling the stress of something that has gone on or they're just stressed Next we have is Libra's feelings for you as the Six of Wands. So Libra wants your attention. They want to give you attention. You and Libra may have just recently found victory after conflict or they want to have that with you. But it's a feel-good energy between you and Libra. If you have not been feeling this, you definitely could start be feeling a lot more um, attention and attraction from your Libra. You may even start getting attention from a new Libra. Next we have is... Scorpio's feelings for you as a knight of swords. So fast-paced communication coming from a Scorpio. If you haven't heard from one, if they were giving you the silent treatment or vice versa, you may definitely be hearing from a Scorpio. For others of you, you may have been very dramatic and drama filled with Scorpio. I do feel like you two may try to fix that and try to tame that energy. Sagittarius feelings for you are the three of swords. So Sagittarius feels very hurt and very sad over this connection. They may have hurt you. You may have hurt them. But nonetheless, they do feel an energy of pain. They do feel an energy of isolation or very extreme sadness from this connection. Next we have is Capricorn's feelings for you as the fool. So Capricorn wants to have a totally new beginning with you. They want to take a risk on this connection and they definitely feel like you are worth it. Some of you, you and your Capricorn may start completely over. Next we have is Aquarius feelings for you as the King of Cups. All right, so Aquarius definitely has very strong feelings for you. Maybe a little bit hard to read your, read your Aquarius, but they definitely do have feelings for you. For some of you, you may feel like Aquarius is a bit emotionally manipulative, but they definitely try to navigate their emotions as best as they can, but they do have feelings for you. For some of you, they may want commitment with you as well. And lastly, Pisces feelings for you, Gemini, is the Two of Cups. So Pisces is very interested in coupling up with you. They feel very emotionally connected to you. They feel very... Um, connected to you at the soul as well and Pisces feels as, as though you are their soulmate and if you're not already coupled with a Pisces you definitely could be connecting to a Pisces who's a newer soulmate or just connecting to a Pisces again so let's clar let's clarify no let's count and make sure everyone's out here for you Gemini one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve all right Gemini so thank you for being here thank you for watching this is your mid-September love reading and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.